This is from George. Hi, George. Hello, George. What is the difference between an amulet and a talisman? Uh, they're so interchangeable in fiction, but witches know there is a difference. And it was the high priestess Amy Crinner that really gave me the mnemonic device that helped me remember this. And that is amulet away, talisman toward. Okay, that a talisman is anything like a good luck charm. Okay. That it's drawing something towards you. An amulet is a symbol, an object of protection that wards off or that pushes away negativity, danger, etc. Now what's funny is that there are some items that are considered both, like a lucky rabbit's foot. That. Rabbit's right. foot. I'm not very lucky for the rabbit, we all know. They haven't come up with a vegan version of the rabbit's foot yet. Not that I'm aware of. Well, there's Colt's foot. That's a herb. I don't think it'll work the same. Maybe it does. Know. It's intent, remember? It is intent, and the intention of the rabbit's foot, people don't even think about it, but is it's to bring good luck and protect me from harm, then it's both. Right. Uh, four-leaf clover, I consider, I just got one. Amy went to Ireland and came back. She brought me a four-leaf clover and a little thing that I carry in my Aww. wallet. And that's to draw good luck. That's a talisman. A money magnet. A talisman. A pentacle, which we get lots of questions on the pentacle. Yes, we do. And we've um, covered in and the it, it, it can be either. It can, it, certainly, I use the pentacle when I'm wearing it personally as an amulet. It's to sort of ward off people. <laughs> it's to ward off negativity. There's yes, he's a priest in a coven later. I'm warding off people. I'm well, I'm but you know, there, unfortunately, the era of pointy hats have gone out of style, where at least if you were wearing a pointy hat, people knew you were a witch. And they understood the most dangerous thing in the forest was you. And they stayed out of your way. Those hats just look ridiculous on us now, except for Halloween. So really, the only other thing we have that, that distinguishes us is the pentacle. So I do wear that as a little bit of a social siren out in front of me, like a you know, like a fire truck. Clear the way. Clear the way. Here comes the witch. And not Lead that I, I hate people. That's not true. I wouldn't be a minister. Certainly, <laughs> ministry is a really bad profession if you don't like that sort of interaction. But uh, just to bounce back negativity, mirrors are really good amulets like that. And there's a, the word ward. Um, you can ward a house, you can ward a space, you can ward a car, but an amulet tends to be something that you wear and carry with you. Okay. But talismans, I mean, people don't realize how much talismanic magic there is in the world. Wear medicine bags, mm -hmm. or wearing crystals, like I see you're wearing a, a stone. What kind of stone is that? That's kind of... Why do you wear it? Uh, absorb, never needs to be cleansed and absorbs all negativity and balances the chakras. So that's kind of an amulet and a talisman because it's absorbing negativity, which is not quite the same as deflecting it, but it's certainly not drawing. Well, I mean, I guess it does draw negativity in the sense that it comes yeah, to you to and it's absorbed. So this is the thing that I say to people, you know, by all means have fun with your toys and stones and herbs and crystals and all of that stuff is so much fun. But if you're going to go so far as to cleanse, consecrate, and empower it with an intention, really make sure you have that amulet talisman balance figured out. Okay. Because if it's going to be part of your energy system, meaning that you're wearing it or you're working with it even on just one day or every day of the week, every day of the month, every day of the year, make sure you know. Because it is operating according to your belief system. Cool? Cool. I think that answers it. Question. Thanks, George. Thank you, George.